Hello everyone and welcome to another gameplay walkthrough for ZPS. Uh, the map you're currently seeing is ZPO Blackbird. Uh, you start off here in the street area and there's a few things to note in, in, this, in here. Um, to the left of where we spawned was a rifle with some ammo and there was also the, the armor which you saw me take earlier. Uh, there are two places you need to go after uh, you spawn either the garage or the subway area. Uh, the subway is where you, you're currently watching it. Let's go na right now. Um, the garage is faster than the subway area, but uh, I believe, I, I've heard from other players that if you go through the subway area, uh, it makes the ending part a lot faster. I haven't tried it out myself, but it's, it's, it's interesting to know. Uh, but the sub you got to be careful in the subway area because it's a lot easier for the, the zombies to s either set up an ambush within the subway area or um, they u they usually like to wait uh, when you go up the the ladder after these stairs right here or th this ladder right here sometimes they like to wait and then catch you off guard but after you've gone through the um, either the garage or the subway um, go th um, you have to get into the club. What I like to do, the the fastest way I think, is to to get in through the side area. You'll you'll see it in a in a second. Yeah, I'm starting to head towards it right now. Um, yeah, through this little hole right here into the bathroom. Uh, that's the fastest way to get because uh, it also takes you straight to the the next objective, which is to turn on the power, and it's it's right over here in the in the generator room. Uh, so you just flip that switch. Uh, once once you turn on the power, the, the music will start playing. And what you have to do is to turn off the music, otherwise all the zombies in the city will be attracted to your position. Uh, so to turn off the music, you just go to this DJ table right here and just, just activate it. Uh, if you don't activate it, uh, the zombies will automatically win and you'll hear this pretty cool howling sound. Uh, but yeah, they'll, you'll lose if you do. Okay, the next objective is to repair the transmitter, which is up here. It's in this room right here. Uh, and to repair it, you have to find the transmitter parts. Uh, the transmitter parts are usually located somewhere in the street area. Um, it, it'll be highlighted red so you'll be able to see it. Um, I've actually seen the transmitter parts uh, being found in the subway area. So be sure if you can't find it in the street area, uh, check the subway and you might find it there, or the garage. Uh, yeah, you just saw me pick up the transmitter parts. Right after you pick them up, you have to go back um, up unless you have a teammate already there uh, and repair the transmitter. Repairing is just basically standing right next to it, so it's, it's not too difficult. Uh, while somebody's repairing it, uh, guard the, the ladders to make sure no zombies just come up and catch you unawares. Uh, it's pretty easy from here, uh, especially if you, have a ma if you have a magnum, just as they're coming up, just pop them in the head. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So after the, the transmitter's been repaired, the next objective is to call for help from the, the radio room. Uh, I think the previous objective said you had to break into it. Uh, and that's because the the door to the radio room is um, it's it's locked, so you have to break through with a melee weapon. You can't just um, press E and open it. Yeah, there it is, right there. It's in the second level of the the club. You just have to break in there and uh, activate the radio, and you'll hear this um, this guy talking, saying he'll send uh, send help. Uh, after that's done, um, try. Get to the the roof. Uh, it's it's kind of difficult if you, you were the one who was to break into the room, but just try to get to the roof as quickly as you can. Yeah, you see those guys. I, I bet just uh, those were the ones who secured the radio. Yeah, and after that's done, you have to move either the box or the the big vent to it's to my right. Yeah, looks like that over to the ladder. Uh, if you went through the subway, it's the boxes which are a lot faster than the vent. And uh, once you've covered the ladder, the zombies can't go up the ladder anymore, and you pretty much win. 
Yeah, so it's a pretty straightforward map. It's not too difficult, as long as you know what to do. Okay, and there you go. That's how you win the map. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative, and I'll see you next time.